So now we have one more kind of circuit that is called as cascaded voltage switch logic circuit. Okay. Cascaded voltage switch logic. In short, it is called as CVSL. Okay. The cascade voltage switch logic that is called a CVSL is a differential CMOS logic style that utilizes both true and complement input signal for the computation. Okay. That is the complementary signals and the original signals are computed together and the output is fetched between the two gate terminals. Okay. So this is one difference for the cascaded voltage switch logic. Unlike conventional static CMOS logic circuits, CVSL relies on two complementary and MOS switching that are networks combined with the cross coupled PMOS transistors. Okay. Here the PMOS transistors are cross coupled for a positive feedback. So its main uh, thing is that the positive feedback we need, we are, the main functioning of the CVSL is positive feedback should be fetched in order to have the sync between the, uh, the complementary and the true signal. So that's why we are, uh, uh, the circuit consists of two cross coupled PMOS transistors. Okay. So you see, this is the uh, structure guys. This is the circuit diagram. So you see here, we have two parallelly connected PMOS transistors, which are cross coupled. How this is cross coupled. You see here, this one gate terminal of this one PMOS transistor is given to the uh, drain terminal of the other PMOS transistor here. And from this point, the output is fetched here. See in the same way, uh, this PMOS transistor is given to the uh, drain terminal of the other PMOS transistor. Okay. And the output is fetched and that output is called as F and F bar simultaneously. Okay. Since they are cross coupled. So the output would be complement of each other. So you see here from this point, we would be taking the true inputs and uh, these two are the combination of uh, uh, NMOS logic. Okay. In the both the sides, the NMOS logic is uh, applied. And here you see uh, the example they have taken the same, uh, that is the uh, same expression that is AB plus C into D plus E. And in both the sides, we have used the uh, NMOS transistors only. Okay. But uh, the inputs are the complement of each other, right? So that's why you see here, this is just the same as the PMOS connection, but we are using only the NMOS transistors because the inputs are complemented. So that's why it is similar to that of the PMOS network only, but the inputs are complemented. So that's why in the, uh, in this case, if it is series here, it would be connected parallel. Okay. So you see here, this is the normal NMOS connection and at this side, that is the F bar, the outputs are renamed as uh, A is replaced by A bar, B as B bar, C, D, E as C bar, D bar and E bar. Okay. And since these two are A and B are connected in series here, here they are connected in parallel. C and D plus E are connected in series here. And these two are connected in parallel. So D bar and E bar are in series. And here with this, it is connected in parallel and these two branches are in series. These two are in parallel. So those two are completely complement of each other in one single uh, uh, cross coupled PMOS transistor. Okay. So this is the structure guys of the cascaded voltage shift logic that is CVS. Okay. A typical CVSL gate consists of two complementary NMOS logic trees that implement the desired logic function. Cross coupled PMOS pull up transistors that ensure the positive feedback. So these cross coupled PMOS transistors are uh, required for the positive feedback uh, are required to ensure the positive feedback and bistable operation. Okay. Bistable means uh, in both the sites, the input and the complementary input are taking place. So that's why this is called as bistable operation. The key working principle involves differential signaling. Differential signaling means we have differential uh, inputs, right? You see here uh, that we have original input and in this side we have the complementary input. So that's why the differential signaling is taking place. The logic trees receive both input and its complement, ensuring the robust operation. Next, we have pull-up mechanism. The cross-coupled PMOS transistors ensure that one output node is strongly pulled high while the other remains low. Okay. So you see here, since uh, one input is complement to that of other, so if one one PMOS transistor is high, the other would be low. And if one PMOS transistor is low, the other would be high. Okay. Switching mechanism. When the inputs change, one of the NMOS logic trees will conduct, forcing one node to be pulled low while the other remains high, resulting in a strong logic transition. The logic transition would be taking place due to the switching mechanism. So this is in, intended with the purpose of uh, conducting the switching mechanism only since the input is a complement of the other input. So that's why the switching mechanism would be a key principle. Okay. Next is advantages. Advantages of CVSL. First is strong signal integrity. 
okay positive feedback ensures sharp transitions and improved noise immunity next we have logical completeness cvsl can implement any logic functions efficiently making it suitable for automated logic synthesis next we have low power consumption unlike domino logic cvsl gates do not require precharge and evaluate cycles reducing dynamic power dissipation okay next we have limitations of cvsl limitations are increased complexity see uh, due to the complementary and the input at the same input uh, at the same stages uh, of the cross coupled pmos uh, transistors the complexity would be very very high next we have area requirement the area to build these circuits are very high then we have slow switching speed the switching speed is slow due to the higher number of transistors for example if we have a big expression logic expression we have more number of transistors for that so that's why so due to the transistor use is very high so that's why the switching speed would be very low okay applications uh, high speed arithmetic and logic units in microprocessors circuits requiring differential signaling for noise reduction automated logic synthesis applications where arbitrary logic expressions needs to be implemented efficiently okay so these are the set of applications conclusion cvsl is a powerful logic family that provides robust differential operation and logical completeness at the cost of increased complexity and area while it may not be always as fast as the traditional cmos or domino logic but its ability to implement any logic function makes it useful useful in specific applications okay so this was about the conclusion of the cvsl that is cascaded voltage switch logic so hope this is clear so that's all for the video guys so this was about the cvsl logic i hope you understood it